beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now, my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about what is your future spouse going through right now in their life. So as we're talking, what's happening <laughs> in their life, in their personal life, um, career, you know, whatever, even maybe love life, right? So whatever comes through, we're going to look into that, what they're currently going through. And yeah, so as always, my dear, I have three piles that you can choose from and you can either choose the card or you can also choose the crystal above it. So for pile one, we have this beautiful crystal right here. Let me show you guys. What a beautiful color. <laughs> or the Ace of Water. So this is pile one. For pile two, we have this beautiful crystal right here. Or the High Priestess card. And for pile three, we have this beautiful crystal right here. Or the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups. So as always, my dear, feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comment section. And also if you're interested in a personal reading with me or you just would like to get further information regarding one, then of course you can also feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what is your future spouse currently going through? What is happening in their life right now? So what we're going to do, my dear, is I will get you some cards, maybe even some oracle cards, but I'm not quite sure yet whether I will use it or not. So we're gonna see, but first of all, let's get you some tarot. Let's see, for my dear pile one. What is your future spouse going through right now in their life? All right, that's enough. So let's see. Let's see for my dear pile. Okay, so we got the four of pentacles here. Oh my goodness. The three of water flipped over. Let's continue. For my dear pile one, what is your future spouse going through right now? All right, so we also got the three of fire here, which is the three of wands. Let's see. Look at that, two queens coming through together. We got the three of air. The three of earth. All right. In a minute, my dear, I will make sure that everything looks straight. Um, but from here, I don't really see it. So I will do that at the end. We got the nine of earth as well. The four of fire. Wow. All right. Let's get you one last card for my dear pile one. What is your future spouse currently going through? Oh, we got the fortune's wheel. All right, so let me make sure everything is visible here. All right. All right. And at the back of the deck, we got, oh, wow, we got the magician card. That's nice. All right, so 
My dear pile one, so what is your future spouse currently going through? What's happening in their life? So first of all, um, there is one energy that's very dominating um, this person's life or, you know, the spread, these card spreads. Um, and it's the, yeah, it's the aspect of work. This person, um, right now, the majority of their energy, okay, and um, time and effort is put into their work. So it's not like, as an example, a future spouse could be currently in a partnership and they're putting a lot of energy there. No, this is more so their energy is going you know, towards their work, um, which is very explainable because... As I'm seeing here, they're definitely trying to master their their craft, you know, and um, whatever whatever it is that they work in or work as, they definitely are um, having certain goals that they're trying to achieve. Although this person already definitely is in a very good space regarding their career, they're still th like they're thriving for more, you know, and they're th thriving to um, to level up. So for them, um, the aspect of security right now is very, very important. It could even be the case that this person, you know, whatever money is coming in for or because of their work, they're putting it into some kind of an investment as well. So their money will constantly work for them. You know, their aspect is all about finances. It's all about their money. So yeah you know and their stability they definitely i see someone here putting their money into certain um yeah investments and really trying to get the best out of it you know it's not like like they're really working with their money you know they're really making the best out of it because well they are the queen of earth right they know how to um how to deal with money, how to treat it, you know, how to make it kind of expand, you know, this is someone who knows how to earn money and how to save money. That's actually a really, really beautiful quality that's being shown here. And the fact that they know how to handle money has definitely um, brought a lot of, yeah, obviously stability, but also fulfillment into their life because once again if they are some kind of an invest um investor um is that the word like if they invest in something then they know how to do it right so um they have a lot of success when it comes to that aspect because they're really knowledgeable like they understand you know and but it's not like this person you know like they're right now not in a good space regarding their money and they're just saving no like they are very comfortable. And in fact, I feel like because this person at the moment, you know, like financially, they're really good and comfortable. They're trying to, yeah, you know, work with their money in a way that they can expand it even more, such as investments, right? But their financial situation is definitely very important to them. There is no doubt about that. It's coming through very, very strongly. And once again, it's dominating their energy and their current life situation. So this person could be working a lot right now, like maybe even for some like um, six days a week, right? So a lot of work, but they have a goal and they're doing it for that. And they have the determination and the motivation, you know, to to go ahead this person is not miserable, you know, just because they work so much doesn't mean that um, they're not happy. No, this person, in fact, is happy with what they're doing. And this can definitely also be a reason why they have so much energy when it comes to their work, because they love what they're doing. And when we love what we're doing, we'll obviously approach the work differently than, you know, like we would hate it, right? So this is what I'm seeing for you. This is what I'm seeing for this person right there. It can even be the case that this person 
another reason why they are so determined when it comes to their job and career it's because one of the goals could be to you know um buy a house okay or an um, apartment even and for some this can even be someone who plans very very forward so no matter who this person is and in which um yeah in which kind of life phase they are they may also already be thinking about like children or marriage um if, if, like obviously take it how it resonates um because you know a lot of different people are watching but for some this person definitely is already thinking about marriage and how to prepare for it um and they really like house is a thing for them i generally feel like that they would either like to buy a house or buy an apartment so if they're currently not in the process of it then this is really a goal that they're trying to manifest and also motivation of why they are actually working so um so hard or so intense but it's not only the money like the let's say house or possession aspect um the money aspect is also for some the reason why they're working so much once again is because they're actually definitely in their future plans they have marriage in it you know let's say as an example um five years from now they would want to be married so right now they're working so much so they can actually um come with preparation right um so yeah they definitely are trying to manifest that for sure because also with the three of wands being here the three of wands for me is one of the manifestation cards in the tarot um this is how i intuitively see the card the energy that comes with it it's like the manifestation card for me um at least one of them and i really see that you know this person is really working hard towards those goals definitely this is someone who's looking into the future and they're really like they're really serious about um where their life is heading so like this person is living the quote um do something today that your future self will thank you for you know <laughs> like that's their um <laughs> that's like their quote and um this is exactly the energy that they're in as we're talking right now they're doing their best um majority wise financially to create a cer certain level of stability which will in the future you know if they want to get married or buy a certain property house whatever it is they will actually be able to do that and with that um like in this world we need money right and that's being sh what's being shown here let me see Another thing that I'm seeing is that right now as we're talking, this person, um, they are in a very crucial time in their life. So what do I mean with that? It could be the case that this person has recently changed something about their life drastically in one way or another. And it has really, um, like... It has really brought a lot of um, new things in their life, but also a lot of endings. So as a small example here, it could be the case that this person, um, they may have, you know, ended a relationship and um, obviously that has changed a lot. And now they're, um, yeah, you know, on a new path, they're on a new, like starting a new chapter in their life. Um, if it's not a relationship, it could also be switching jobs, right? Or um, location. You know, it's all about ending something and then starting something else. Because obviously with every ending, there is a beginning. But for a beginning to happen, we first need an ending. So yeah, so something has ended um, in their life. It, for some, it could be love. Okay, it could be love related. So they have now kind of um, brought closure to this 
and they have moved away from it. They are not attached to it anymore. In fact, with the Queen, Queen of Swords being here, it's a very strong energy, very like boundaries up, like knowing what you want um, and be ve like being very courageous. So yeah, this chapter um, is off, like is behind them now, but they are now in this new beginning, this new chapter in their life. The fortune is um, moving for them, you know, the wheel is moving for them. So yeah, but you know, also with the fortune's wheel being here, you know, very often we may go through um, certain experiences in our life, could be a relationship or could even be um, anything really, right? Career-wise. Um, and we may feel like, oh, well, this is like, that was so wasted, you know? I wish I wouldn't have been in this relationship. Like, I would have wait, like <laughs> saved a lot of, you know, like time for myself or I wish um, I wouldn't have been in this certain career field because like it didn't took me anywhere. But sometimes certain, you know, events or certain experiences that we, that we make, like even if we don't understand why, even if we um, are not really quite sure about why it happened, because like, especially if we feel like, like there was, like it was totally wasted, there was no reason for it. But with the fortunes wheel being here, whatever this chapter of their life was about, it was meant for them to go through, like they needed that because um, it has taught them a lot, you know, and it was kind of, yes, maybe even for some, it was a karmic um, depth, depth, how do you say it in English, but it was something karmic that they had to go through, okay, so it was in a way also yeah, something that was just meant for them to experience. However, the fact that they went through it, yeah, maybe at that time they didn't really understand why, but I'm pretty sure that, especially looking into the future, they will understand how crucial, how important this experience was because it has actually moved their life in a certain direction and also shaped them as an individual um, when it comes to, as an example, how they want to go about relationships, or how they want to go about their job, you know, whatever um, the specifically may be, because I'm not receiving specific messages here. And I guess probably because a lot of people are watching or choosing this pile. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I'm seeing here for sure. Let me see. And, you know, right now for them in their life or um, in this like phase that they're in, it's really all about taking responsibilities. It's really all about making the best out of whatever um, is av like available for us. So with the magician being here, you know, whatever they may um, go through right now, like let's say work-wise, um, they're trying to upgrade themselves, right? And um, maintain a certain level of stability. They're definitely constantly trying to upgrade their skills, their abilities in order to get more clients, in order to make more money and profit. So as an example, if um, like if this person does some kind of a job in which they need clients, then right now they're doing a lot to um, promote themselves, right? To reach more audience, to reach more people. So it's all about expanding. Um, but once again, this is definitely more so career related here. So yeah, your future spouse, my dear, right now, it's majority wise, it's very finances that they're um, putting a lot of attention to because it's not only for them to be like, you know, um, comfortable right now, but they're definitely looking into the future and they have certain goals that they're tr already trying to, um, you know, work towards, which is a very beautiful energy actually. But also with the three of water being here, which is the three of cups, like there is no energy in the spread, which would be maybe a little bit concerning or indicating that this person is going through something more, let's say difficult in their life, no. They're definitely very lighthearted. Maybe the 
most stressful thing they're going through right now is like you know um connected to their work but that's it you know definitely right now with the three of cups they're really enjoying themselves they enjoy the journey and there is really not a lot to complain about like genuinely speaking nothing um that i'm picking up on here which would be a little bit concerning or which would kind of give them um a hard time you know besides the work but obviously they love to do it so this is not a burden it's it's kind of like the responsibilities that you put on because you want to because um you're thriving the success you're thriving reaching your goals so you're willing to t do whatever it takes so yeah it's not like um like bad stress it's more so um stress that really drives you <laughs> like how should i explain it um obviously well stress is not really that great but um they love it they love to constantly want to thrive for more and upgrade themselves yeah so my dear pal one as you can see um when it comes to your future spouse there's definitely a lot happening in their life especially career wise but it's all good you know once again no negative energies or something major that i'm picking up on which would be of concern but yeah my dear pal one so please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading and if it resonated with you or if you liked it please feel free to like comment and subscribe if you haven't if you are interested in a personal reading with me of course you can feel free to email me and i will give you further information regarding one lastly my dear if you haven't um you can also follow me on Instagram. I've made a new account. So if you're still subscribed, I'm not sorry, not subscribed, Fluni, still are following the old one, um, I will put it down and I made a new one. So make sure to, yeah, follow me there. And I'm super excited because I want to post more there. I am not like the best Instagrammer in the world. Actually, I'm totally new to it, but I'm very excited when it comes to that. So yeah, you can feel free to join me on that journey. But yeah, my dear pal one, thank you so much for yeah um, allowing me to connect with your beautiful energy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or of course a beautiful night. But yeah, my dear pal one, take care. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see, what is your future spouse currently going through? right now in their life what we can get about it so for my dear pile two what is your future spouse co currently i can't talk <laughs> what is your future spouse currently going through in their life what is happening in their life as we're talking what do you need to know pile two about your future spouse and what they're going through right now. For my dear pal two, one last shuffle. What is your future spouse currently going through? All right, so that's enough. So let's see, let's see. Okay, so we got the eight of fire, which is the eight of wands. Okay, oops, what's that? The Nine of Cups. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the Messenger of Fire. We got the Page of Water. And my dear pile. Okay, um, look at that. Eight of Fire with the Chariot. Such like fast moving energies together here for my dear pal to the temptation card what is your future spouse currently going through got the moon card and one last card please all right so we got the justice card at the back of the deck Oh, interesting the five of earth okay 
So please give me a moment, my dear, to look through the energies here. Okay, so... First of all, your future spouse um, is coming out right now, uh, like out of a very troublesome time that they recently were in. It could have something to do with their finances. So let's say, um, you know, the, the last month or um, the few last few weeks, um, they may have experienced a certain you know, setback um, when it comes to the finances. However, right now, this is like um, completely going to the like different direction, you know. Once again, if for some weeks now, something regarding their work, you know, may have been slow moving or not going ideal wise, like now it's really speeding up for them. Like, they can definitely um, <laughs> look forward to a lot of, yeah, blessings coming in, in their way. Um, especially success, you know. We got the chariot card here as well. Like, um, and the eight of fire here. So, and also with the five of earth being here, the overall energy. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'm seeing is that this is career related, okay? So once again, for some reason, very recently, this is not like um, like past energy, like very, very past energy, you know? It's more so maybe the f last few weeks and it's not long lasting. So it's not like this is something they have been in for a few months now or for a year even no this is just something like which they went through um temporary and it's recently that they have somehow experienced um maybe a little bit of loss regarding their finances um as an example if this is a business owner they could have experienced um you know the profit going down a little bit however once again, now they're coming out of it because what's happening here pretty, pretty fast, okay? With speed, it's going up again. Um, and it's something that's really um, making them happy because once again, maybe they had, a f obviously they felt some type of way because of that experience, you know? Um, but yeah, it turned off, like it's going up again for sure. And um it could even be the case that they have done a certain like decision regarding their career, either like a business decision or maybe they have even switched something, you know, such as career or started a side hustle, started a new business. And for the beginning now, they weren't really quite sure whether it was the right decision because obviously at the beginning of any business, there's first some moment, um, there is some time you first need to establish yourself or you first need to um, be very patient and then it can, you know, um, yeah, grow somewhere. And this is what I'm seeing for your future spouse. So right now they're definitely coming out of this energy and their hard work, which they, as an example, maybe weren't really able to um, like see the fruits of their labor right now it's the time to do so and that's bringing a lot of energy to them because um obviously they're now see that the work the hard work that they have put into their business their work is now paying off although maybe if weeks like a few weeks ago it didn't really feel like it but now it's happening now um they're reaching you know and they're they're earning yeah let me see All right, so another thing that I'm seeing here is that it could even be the case that this person, um, yeah, I feel like this person has become more conscious when it comes to money. You know, maybe before going through this, they uh, were spending a little bit more like, um, I think the English word is reckless. You know, they were just spending, um, not really like, 
thinking too much through. Like, they obviously, um, I mean, obviously everyone can spend their money for whatever they want, right? It's your own free will. It's the it's your hard-earned money. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, but what I'm seeing is that it could be the case that this person used to not really... Um, like be that well when it comes to how they spend their money or to what extent like um extent right but this has helped them a lot you know this has kind of um made them for some reason see the worth of money again <laughs> because as an example it could be the case that this is someone who earns money really really fast and very very easy and when i say easy i mean like i mean obviously no matter what, like every job is hard, right? And every job has its, um, like you need to put the effort in it, right? But I mean like um, for some reason in their energy, it's being portrayed as that, you know? Maybe their business is really good. It's very successful and this is why it's coming through. You know, whatever work they're working in, um, like they're really, really good at it. And this is why, because like money always kind of came in, um, they really didn't care too much when it comes to like every, ex like um, like how they, you know, spend their money. Um, and sometimes they just like spend it like water, which is obviously once again, their own choice. They can do whatever they want, but it could be the case that sometimes it wasn't really the best um, decision even for themselves, but because, um, they just had a lot, they didn't really care. However, because of what they may have experienced recently, they have become more conscious of money and they have become more conscious of how um, how they want to spend it in a way that um, it's really put into things that are, that they really need, you know? Maybe they used to spend it for things that they don't even need. So there is this energy here that, right now they're definitely seeing the worth of it and they're more cautious because yeah they respect money now you know um like even yeah they do so hmm, let me see let me see yeah maybe in the past somehow they didn't have a very healthy relationship with money this is what i mean like maybe um this has taught them a lot. Okay. So there is a reason why they went through that in order to grow when it comes to their, um, yeah, financial side. Another thing that I'm seeing is that this is someone, my dear, who, yeah, this is someone who is right now incorporating a lot of um, things into their life which genuinely fulfills them. Because once again, um, how should I say it? Okay, let me explain it like that. This person right now, as we're talking, or as I'm talking, better to say, um, they're very, very active. So um, they may do a lot of different activities regarding hobbies, regarding um, their community. Maybe they're very active within their community when it comes to voluntary stuff. But it's not only that, you know, it's, there is this level of like, um, of excitement and adventure here. And not that, you know, that certain activities in the community or voluntary things can't be exciting or um, like great. That's not what I mean, but... It feels like more, um, like, it, it just feels like more adventurous, you know. This person, as an example, could be right now or soon, as we're, um, yeah, soon be traveling somewhere or go to a certain place that they always wanted to, you know, go to, um, to see maybe a certain hobby they have not, like, started, f but they always wanted to, um, and right now is the time where they just want to go for it. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's um, hobby related to sports and it's more active or let's say something such as a language, a new language, um, like learning a language. It doesn't matter. But they are in this energy right now. It's all about 
doing new things it's all about experiencing more you know and yeah it's kind of like they're trying also to balance out the you know the commitment and res like responsibilities that come with their job so this is someone who um this can even be creativity wise you know do something express themselves somehow to balance this practical energy out because it brings a lot of balance to them this is something they need this person for sure needs um to also you know oh my goodness please excuse me <laughs> this person also needs to stimulate their the right side of their brain you know like left and right both need to be balanced out so let's say this person may go through a period in their life where it's only about their work they can't express themselves creativity or somehow um it will really you know have a turn on them like it will really influence them badly so this is why they constantly need this new input when it comes to um new things you know like whether it be activities or yeah really anything and this is what they're doing right now as well it, it's more so feels like something new that they have started you know maybe a certain course even maybe an online course or a workshop right now regarding creativity regarding an instrument a language um sports you know whatever whatever it may be this is something which they already um yeah which they also doing right now and it's bringing them joy for some of you it could even be the case that they're not even telling anyone it's kind of something secretively uh like not that whatever they're doing is bad and they feel like they need to hide it but it's just like um it's something they're doing just for themselves so they want to have the space as an example if they're looking to travel they will not tell anyone and they will just go and travel and enjoy it or if they're learning a new language um they will keep it a secret you know because it just feels like they want to do something just for themselves you know what like without anyone um giving their opinion or interfering with whatever this is they just need the space for themselves and this is what's coming through here yeah especially you know if this person career-wise does something which their need to be in touch with people with a lot of even maybe um like new people and strangers obviously this can sometimes exhaust us a little bit so we really need this time to recharge and this is what's being shown here this more creative side of them is where they can recharge and maybe this is also the reason why they're doing this um in the hidden or they're not really um sharing that too much because it's just for them you know it's just for them to to enjoy and that's it period all right so another thing that i'm seeing my dear is that for some of you guys okay not for everyone but for some it could be the case that this person um was involved with someone romantically and for some reason there is some kind of a like legal things that they need to take care of with the justice card being here so let's say this person used to you know live with someone then now that they have separated they need to like legally go about who gets what right like those things um it doesn't have to be that to that extent it could even be something small but it's just like and for the majority of you guys this is a romantic partner but it could even be for others maybe a family member or hey maybe even a business partner literally um but there is this element here of some kind of like legal um steps that they are currently taking all right for someone very specific okay not for everyone once again 
It could even be something such as divorce, right? So, um, but take it how it resonates um, and leave what doesn't. But this is what I mean, like some kind of a legal um, manner, I'm sorry, matter, uh, <laughs> legal matter that they need to take care of. Yeah. And once again, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantically, but with a page of water, that can definitely indicate that. But hey, yeah, maybe it's even something regarding their work or business, you know, maybe there's something that need to look, um, look for some kind of policy that they're um, changing, you know, whatever it is, but this is really what's being shown here to me right now. Let me see. <sighs> yeah, for some, this legal thing that they're taking care of, um, There could be some fighting um, in there, you know, once again, either for business or let's say if it's some kind of a relationship, even a family member, um, even a friend, you know, if they somehow shared something with them, then they need legal help. This is really what I'm seeing here. Another thing. Someone could be um, on some kind of a diet right now. I don't know why, um, for some it could even be you, not for everyone obviously, but um, for some it could even be a mirroring energy that somehow, like diet-wise, someone has changed something. Maybe someone would like to lose weight or even maybe gain weight, right? So, um, but this is what I'm seeing, but this is definitely in their energy. Or maybe they've just started to um, detox um, fast or um, yeah, just eat healthier, you know? But that's really what I'm seeing here for you, pal, too. Yeah. So my dear pal, too, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And if you liked it or if it resonated with you, then please feel free to let me know through a like, a comment or a subscription if you haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading or you just would like to get further information regarding one, then of course you can also feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, um, if you don't know yet, I have made a new Instagram account because I had some issues with my old one. So if you're not following me there as well, um, then you can feel free to do so. You'll find the link in the description box. And yeah, I'm li really looking forward to um, be more active there and actually share pictures because I'm not really good at that, but I will try my best. So yeah, if you would like to keep up with that, you can feel free to follow me there as well. But yeah, my dear pal too. So thank you very much for allowing me to connect with your beautiful energy. I'm sending you much love and I hope you're having a beautiful day or of course a beautiful night. But yeah, my dear pal too, take care. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what does your future spouse currently going through right now in their life. So let's see what is happening in their life, career, personal life, maybe even love life, you know, whatever comes through. Let's see what are they currently going through. For my dear pile three, what is your future spouse currently going through? What is happening in their life? So my dear pile three, what is happening in your future spouse's life right now? All right, that's enough. So let's see. For my dear pile three, let's see for you guys. All right, so... We got the Eight of Earth, the Three of Fire, and the King of Swords. 
Let's continue. Let's see. For my dear pile of three, what is happening in your future spouse's life right now? What can we get about it? What is happening in their life right now? All right, so... We got the two of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Let's get you guys three more cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Too many cards everywhere. Let's see. Okay. We got the justice card. We got the hanged man and one last card please what is currently happening in their life okay one card fell you guys however i feel like i need to move the camera to get it please excuse that okay excuse me my dear so <laughs> and the last card is the queen of fire all right so let me just make sure all the cards are straight i just don't see it from there <laughs> but i feel like this is all right here let's see at the back of the deck my dear pile three you got the three of pentacles so please give me a moment my dear so what's your future spouse currently going through So first of all, the first um, yeah message that I received was there is an emphasis here on your future spouse um, spending a lot of time with their yeah with their loved ones could be friends could be family but right now their loved ones are um, are very much in their energy space. So it could be the case that this person right now um, is on a certain trip, you know, with um, with family or friends or they're visiting someone and this is why this is coming through. Maybe they're visiting a relative or um, they're um, visiting a friend of them. So there is this energy of them um, right now being with other people and really enjoying themselves. Could even be the case that this person um, is invited to, you know, let's say, like celebrations right now because of, you know, maybe even because of like traditional things, you know, maybe right now somewhere um, in the world at this time, there could be certain cultural, you know, things that are being celebrated. And this is why um, this is being emphasized here that they're spending a lot of time with their loved ones because maybe it's very um, common that you celebrate it with your family and friends. Um, but it can even be just the case that, let's say, a very close friend of them, um, you know, <laughs> like wants to get married. So it's very in their energy. You know, maybe this person helps love with the preparation um, or somehow. So they're definitely occupied with their loved ones, um, with spending a lot of time with them, you know, maybe even doing certain things for them if they need to. But yeah, they're very, very like they're helping a lot right now and um, they're happy to do so. This is definitely the kind of person who just needs, um, you know, like their friends or family, like, um, in their life like this is not someone who let's say um is it's okay like forever to be um somewhere somewhere isolated and just live their life that way no they really need um interaction with their loved ones you know they genuinely from their heart really um want to share the love that they have this person has a lot of love to give and I don't feel like this person right now is in a relationship. This is not coming through in their energy. Um, this person is probably single. And they really love to share their love still. So because they don't have a partner or someone to share it, as an example, they like to do it with 
um, with their family, right? They like to share the love um, through their family or um, through, you know, being with their friends. So this is, yeah, this is someone very like heart-centered person here who is a great like team player, like, yeah. If this person somehow works in a team, they are great at that, you know, teamwork, collaborations, they know how to, um, yeah, just how to behave or how to um, be sociable, you know, like, I don't know how better to explain it, but this is really what I'm picking up on here. Also, right now, um, like, wow, with the eight of earth and the 10 of earth being here, this person right now is like, um, yeah, financially speaking, maybe some of you guys were drawn to file one as well. If this is the case, then feel free to watch it because maybe there are um, some messages for you. But coming back to this reading, this person with the Ten of Pentacles, like it can't go any better than that regarding finances. So yeah, work-wise, they're really, really thriving. They're very successful right now. There is really nothing to um, complaining, you know, when it comes to their money. But of course, it didn't come from just anything with the Eight of Earth being here. They have worked hard for it. They have put the effort in it, right? Um, this is a hard worker, someone who, like, in order for something to grow, obviously, first we need to put the right um, energy and work into it so it can actually, like, we need the right soil, right, for something to grow. And they know that. And this is why a very long time ago, they've actually already put the foundation and the work into um yeah whatever it is that they do but right now they are thriving my dear with the ten of pentacles um yeah for sure for some this person could be working um or no actually what i'm also um picking up on is here I know it has nothing to do with the question itself, but you know, I get random messages coming through and I need to say them. This person would make a great job, like a boss, you know, um, who knows, maybe for some, it, you guys will, you know, somehow meet um, through that or, you know, whatever. But this person is actually a great boss. This is what I'm seeing. So they treat their employees or you know, whoever it is that they are um, connected with very, very fairly. This is someone who will not um, misuse the power that they have. And with power, I mean, let's say um, they may be in a certain higher position. And sometimes people, let's say at work, when they have a certain higher position, they can influence people who are um, below them, you know, like looking at it from a like, like job perspective they can somehow influence people who are um not in the position that they are in but this is not the kind of person this is someone who's very fair um they treat people with justice and um they're very very honest so let's say someone is in their life or in their career field and um someone does something wrong so this person will not hold back like they will share it you know they will be honest. So maybe this person at times comes a little bit off harsh because of their honesty, but it doesn't come from a like, um, like not bad intentions. It's just the way like they want to put like everything on the table clear, you know, like they don't want to tiptoe around things. They just say it the way um, they observe it. This is more so a very practical and logical person. They are very, very um, like, swords energy king of swords um he is very practical and when i say he i don't mean like gender wise i mean the archetype of the king of swords and we're not looking into genders here we're just looking into the energy archetypes here so let me see another thing that i'm seeing here is that yeah, this person, my dear, 
could right now it's so funny because um yeah this person right now a little bit a little bit not really the same but um just like pile one and once again some of you guys could be drawn to pile one as well but just like pile one the majority of this person's energy um like their focus is on their career um they also like this person could even have multiple jobs or multiple businesses or let's say um if they are a boss then or they are in a certain position where people work for them then like there is a lot they need to um look after take care of so they're very very occupied with that it almost feels like um this person really doesn't have so much time when it comes to let's say their personal life um they're more so concentrated on their career because there is a lot to take care of you know it's their personal choice they have um chosen this path they wanted that you know they have definitely expanded their business somehow or let's say if they work in some kind of a work field they may have taken a second job somehow or a side hustle which they're trying to um built off the ground but this person's energy they're not focused on love whatsoever this is not what i'm picking up on their focus is on their money yeah for sure no love like literally zero i'm not picking up on anything here it really feels like um it doesn't like it's not a priority for them you know it's not the priority to let's say be in a relationship or um experience something romantically no they would rather right now put this energy into their career so they can expand it you know this is just them um they have free will they can do whatever they want to do obviously but this is just what i'm seeing here yeah this person my dear um could right now be like seriously collaborating with another company or with another person um yeah but they're very passionate you know when it comes to their work they're really the queen of fire so they know what they're doing you know they know it and i don't feel like they mind you know like having so much i think to take care of that's not the energy like that i'm picking up on that you know um it may be too much once again their priority is their work it's just the way it comes through so they actually like to be occupied with it and yeah if it means that they don't have a lot of time let's say for dating well they don't want to date right now you know and obviously this is right now so um yeah this is as we're talking um what i'm seeing here they're really all about um balancing out their career you know this this is really what i'm seeing here what i'm picking up on here let me see you know why this person right now isn't really actively like putting a lot of energy into their love life because they actually trust this person has a lot of trust um, when it comes to the right people will come when it's the time you know for it so they are not um wasting i'm saying wasting because this is what i heard this is their um view this is how they see it they're not wasting their time with let's say um casual dating because they know that if someone comes you know into their life and they feel like okay this is like they are someone i really would like to get to know or someone i can imagine um being with when it comes to the future then they will be active like they will actively do whatever it takes but they're not looking for it desperately or something like that no they're very like flowy you know they just allow things to unfold however they're supposed to unfold if that means um they will stay single for some time then so it be they are not someone who's like um, unhappy when they're single in fact this is someone who um is really good like romantically speaking 
with just um yeah being by themselves you know not really like um like this is not someone who always needs to be in a relationship because you know some people as an example um they need to constantly be in a relationship because of personal reasons or preferences um whatever it be but this is not the kind of person they really enjoy being alone um yeah because that means they can put the energy into their work you know um yeah <laughs> that's what i'm seeing they can put the energy that they would normally give someone else the time and energy and the effort that they would put into a relationship they would can put into whatever it is that they're um prioritizing you know and i don't mean that this person doesn't want to be in a relationship no that's it you know they are trusting they're trusting that yes um the right person will come but i will not force it you know just because i've not found someone who fits me like it doesn't mean that i will just then go with anyone just to be with someone no no that's not who they are yeah because they um like this person you know like they know exactly what they want so this is not someone who's like um um very difficult um like when it comes to choosing this person is not indecisive they know what they want you know they have a certain um plan when it comes to their life when it comes to the person that they're looking for relationship wise and if they feel like there are not really a lot of people out there who fit that they will be patiently waiting um this person is really good at like being patient because this is a quality that they really had to master i'm hearing when it comes to their career so they're really good at it you know they can apply that on different um aspects of their life they know that certain things take time even if we would like them to be in our life right now still um sometimes divine timing it's doing like it's doing its thing right and they understand that maybe they don't understand um like maybe they don't understand the more spiritual aspect when it comes to that like divine timing because i see them being more so practical but they understand that you know good things will come at the right time and they will not force it so yeah this is what i'm seeing here let me see if we get anything more about them Hmm. yeah this person um yeah so they are single right now for sure um or they are looking for a commitment you know they're looking for a committed relationship but if someone doesn't um fit that they will like they're not scared to cut them off you know or yeah because they have boundaries the king of swords like is the master of boundaries and um yeah they just know you know because they understand that certain things take time and that's good and we should not settle for anything less you know because if we sometimes settle for less we may bring things in our life that we don't did like we didn't want to but um we allowed it to come through so as an example this person would rather stay alone than um with someone who's coming up very very toxic to them and obviously um like they will not settle for this person because they know they understand like they deserve someone who treats them respectful and genuine and um with love so they would rather be single and wait for such a person to come into their life then settle for someone who yeah who they can be with they won't be single however this person is not good for them this is the kind of person yeah but yeah right now for sure majority wise what's happening in their life it's once again career 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 um but also really enjoying their like time with their loved ones you know yeah they really love it this can like this is a very family oriented person they could have even like visited um well, let's say if this person has siblings 
like visit their siblings, um, their parent, their friends, you know, this is really yeah, where they are right now. Mm. Maybe because of the holidays, but um, I believe the holidays in many places are already like over. So um, I don't know about that, but could be because of anything. Once again, maybe even a celebration of some sort. But this is what's happening in their life right now. Yeah. By the way, you guys, let me know if you would like uh, me to do such updates every now and then, you know. Um, if this is something you're interested in to get, you know, um, like uh, updates when it comes to what your future spouse is going through every now and then, then let me know. But yeah, my dear pal three, so thank you so much for yeah watching this video. And if you liked it or if it resonated with you, then please feel free to let me know and um, give a like, a comment or a subscription if you haven't. And if you're interested in a personal reading or you just would like to get further information regarding one, then of course you can also feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you don't know yet, I've made a new Instagram account because I had some issues with my old one. And yeah, if you haven't followed me there yet, then I also of course invite you to do so. And yeah, I definitely would love to become more active there. I'm not an Instagrammer, but um, I'm giving, you know, I will do my best um, with uploading photos and so on. So if you would like to, yeah, keep up with that, you can definitely feel free to follow me there as well. But yeah, my dear pal three, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sending you much positive energy and I hope you're having a beautiful day or of course, a beautiful night. But yeah, my dear pal three, take care.